I'm Mrs. Clark. I teach third and fourth grade music at SIS, and I will be reading pages 281 through 283. Bear. We called the puppy Bear because when Mom first saw him, she said he looked just like a little bear cub. I said, that's what we should call him, and everyone agreed that that was the perfect name. I took the next day off from school, not because my elbow was hurting me, which it was, but so I could play with Bear all day long. <laughs> Mom let Via stay home from school too, so the two of us took turns cuddling with Bear and playing tug of war with him. We had kept all of Daisy's to old toys, and we brought them out now to see which ones he'd like best. It was fun hanging out with Bia all day, just the two of us. It was like old times, like before I had started going to school. Back then, I couldn't wait for her to come home from school so she could play with me before starting her homework. Now that we're older though, and I'm going to school and have friends of my own that I hang out with, we never do that anymore. So it was nice hanging out with her, laughing and playing. I think she liked it too. The shift. When I went back to school the next day, the first thing I noticed was that there was a big shift in the way things were. A monumental shift, a seismic shift, maybe even a cosmic shift. Whatever you wanna call it, it was a big shift. Everyone, not just in our grade, but every grade had heard about what had happened to us with the seventh graders. So suddenly I wasn't known for what I'd always been known for, but for this other thing that had happened. And the story of what happened had gotten bigger and bigger each time it was told. Two days later, the way the story went was that Amos had gotten into a major fist fight with the kid and Miles and Henry and Jack had thrown some punches at the other guys too. And the escape across the field became this whole long adventure through a cornfield maze and into the deep dark woods. Jack's version of the story was probably the best because he's so funny. But in whatever version of the story, and no matter who was telling it, two things always stayed the same. I got picked on because of my face, and Jack defended me, and those other guys, Amos, Henry, and Miles, protected me. And now that they'd protected me, I was different to them. It was like I was one of them. They all called me little dude now, even the jocks. These big dudes I barely even knew before would knuckle punch me in the hallways now. Another thing to come out of it was that Amos became super popular and Julian, because he missed the whole thing, was really out of the loop. Miles and Henry were hanging out with Amos all the time now, like they switched best friends. I'd like to be able to say that Julian started treating me better too, but that, that wouldn't be true. He still gave me dirty looks across the room. He still never talked to me or Jack, but he was the only one who was like that now. And me and Jack, we couldn't care less. 